सिंपल लैंग्वेज फोर्स कैन बी डिस्क्राइब एज पुश और पुल अपॉन एन ऑब्जेक्ट फोर्स इज एनी थिंग दैट कॉजेज एन ऑब्जेक्ट टू मूव विच रिजल्ट इन टू इट्स इंट्रैक्शन विद अदर ऑब्जेक्ट फोर्स मे मेक एन ऑब्जेक्ट मूव फ्रॉम रेस्ट और इट मे चेंज द स्पीड ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट वेन इट इज मूविंग इवन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट कैन बी चेंज बाय अप्लाइंग फोर्स फोर्स मे ऑल्सो ब्रिंग अ चेंज इन द शेप ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट फोर्स मे कॉज सम और ऑल ऑफ दीज इफेक्ट्स वाइल अ फोर्स मे कॉज वन और मोर ऑफ दीज इफेक्ट इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू रिमेंबर दैट नन ऑफ दीज एक्शन कैन टेक प्लेस विदाउट द एक्शन ऑफ फोर्स एन ऑब्जेक्ट कैन नॉट बी मूव बाय इट सेल्फ एंड कैन नॉट चेंज इट स्पीड बाय इट सेल्फ इट कैन नॉट चेंज इट्स डायरेक्शन बाय इट सेल्फ एंड इट्स शेप कैन नॉट बी चेंज बाय इट सेल्फ सो फॉर एवरीथिंग फोर्स इज रिक्वायर्ड force is divided into two major categories contact force and non contact force forces that require a touch or contact to be applied are known as contact forces it is a force at the point of contact or interaction of two objects it is further divided into six types frictional force spring force air resistance force muscular force normal force and tension force so the first type of contact force is friction force let's take few example take a ball and roll it along the ground after some time you will notice that it gradually slows down and finally comes to rest similarly a boat comes to rest if we stop rowing it now in both the situations no force appears to be acting on the object still their speed gradually decreases and they finally come to rest after some time so what do you think what causes a change in their state of motion the force responsible for changing the state of motion of object in all these cases is the force of friction it is a force of friction between the surface of the ball and the ground that brings the moving ball to rest Similarly the friction force between the water and the boat brings it to stop once you stop rowing it the force of friction always acts on all the moving objects and its direction is always opposite to the direction of motion or we can say that friction is a force that opposes or resists the motion of an object that comes in contact or slide against each other The friction depends upon the roughness and smoothness of the sliding object. The rougher is the object, the more friction will be generated. The smoother is the object, the more smoothly it can move. As we can see, the smooth ball have a smoother surface can travel a longer distance than the rough ball. Second category of contact force is muscular force. This force is caused by the action of muscles in our body. The force resulting due to the action of muscles is known as muscular force. It is a muscular force that enable us to perform all activities involving movement or bending of our body. Animals also make use of muscular force to carry out their physical activities and other tasks. Animals like bullocks, horses, donkeys and camels are used to perform various tasks for us. In performing these tasks they use muscular force. third category is tension force it is a force transmitted through a rope string cable or wire when it is pulled by two objects on its opposite ends imagine you are pulling a box with the use of a rope the box is tied on one end of the rope and you are pulling the rope through the other you are exerting force on the rope and then the rope pulls the box the force applied on the box by the rope is the tension force in this case you are able to move the box without direct contact with it the force went through another medium which in this case is the rope fourth category is normal force it is also called support force it is exerted upon an object that is in contact with another stable object normal force is the force that surfaces exert to prevent solid objects from passing through each other 
If two surfaces are not in contact, they can't exert a normal force on each other. For example, the surface of a table and a box cannot exert normal force on each other if they are not in contact. However, when two surfaces are in contact, they exert a normal force on each other, perpendicular to the contacting surfaces. For example, if a book is resting upon a surface, then the surface is exerting an upward force upon the book in order to support the weight of the book. Fifth category is Air Resistance Force. It is a special type of frictional force that act upon objects as they travel through the air. Like friction force, it also opposes the motion of an object. This force is usually weak and is often negligible and doesn't affect the speed of the object. But it becomes higher in object that travels with higher speed. Parachute used by the skydivers are designed based on the air resistance force. Without parachute, the skydiver will fall from the sky very rapidly. The parachute increases the diver's surface area and weight and it slows down the speed of falling because now air resistance force is acting on it. Sixth type of contact force is the spring force. Spring force is the force exerted by a compressed or stretched spring upon any object that is attached to it. Another category is called non-contact forces. These are also called action at a distance forces. Non-contact force is a force applied to an object by another body that is not in direct contact with it. Even though objects have large distance between them, they can still cause push or pull to each other. And this force is at the action at a distance force. Like contact force, this type of force also has subtypes. Magnetic force, electrostatic force and gravitational force. First is the magnetic force. We know magnet has two poles, north and south pole. When two like poles are kept together, they repel each other and unlike poles attract each other. For example, north and south attract each other while north pole and north pole repel each other. Attraction or repulsion between objects can also be seen as another form of pull or push. A magnet can exert a force on another magnet without being in contact with it. The force exerted by a magnet is an example of non-contact force. Next is electrostatic force. The force exerted by a charged body on another charged or uncharged body is known as electrostatic force. This force comes into play even when the bodies are not in contact. When a balloon is rubbed with human hair and brought close to another balloon, both start to stick together. When we rub the balloon with human hair, it acquires electrostatic charge. Such a balloon is an example of a charged body. When we bring it closer to another balloon which is an uncharged body, they begin to attract each other. Assume the two charged particles are brought very near together. If the charges are opposite, that is, if one is positive and the other is negative, there will be an attraction. The charges, on the other hand, will repel each other if they both are positive or negative. We can summarize it like this. Like charges repel one another, while unlike charges attract each other. Another category is gravitational force. It is a common observation that leaves and fruits fall to the ground when they get detached from the plant and a coin or a pen falls to the ground when it slips off your hand. Have you wondered why is it so? When you hold a coin, is it at rest? As soon as it is released, it begins to move downward. It is clear that the state of motion of the coin undergoes a change and a change in its motion occurs due to the force. Objects fall towards the earth because it pulls them and this force is known as force of gravity or just gravity. This is an attractive force. The force of gravity acts on all objects. 
the force of gravity acts on all of us all the time without our being aware of it water begins to flow toward the ground as soon as we open a tap water in rivers flow downward due to the force of gravity gravity is not a property of the earth alone in fact every object in the universe whether small or large exert a force on every other object this force is known as gravitational force so so far we have learned about contact and non contact forces hope you enjoyed learning today please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching